Hi everybody, it's Angie with Feisty Butterfly Tarot. Today I'm doing a read for the sign of Leo. I just finished up doing a light workers read for you guys as well, but I didn't want to put the spirit animal cards away just yet. And I pulled one out and this just kind of made me chuckle. It's called Porcupine Spirit. And it says, time for beginner mind. So I'll tell you about this just a little bit and then we're gonna start into your tarot reading. Time for beginner mind means back to square one, and it might not be square one of the same thing. It's just a starting place. You're beginning at something new. So be aware of that. Porcupines do the defensive thing with their quills. Their quills are hollow and they'll float and they're buoyant. So it's time to lighten up rather than being overly defensive and open up and open up your heart. So with that in mind and that energy in our minds, we're gonna go into your tarot read. So sun, more, uh, sun, moon, north node, Jupiter, Venus, all this. Check your other signs if you don't feel this resonates. But we're going to get this going and see what we can find out for you to help you today. So this is the Universal Tarot. We'll also be using the Good Tarot. And the Good Tarot, it kind of reads more like an oracle, but it's tarot. So we're gonna take a peek at that, see if there's a couple things that can bookend for you. And then probably a little bit more advice about the crux of things from the Marchetti Tarot of Dreams. One more shuffle on these. Let's see what got going here. Oh, that's slick. Okay. Absolutely. All right, let's see what's shaking, guys. Oh, okay. Ooh, hello. That may or may not be relevant later, we'll see. Okay, we've got porcupine spirit going on. It's time for the beginner mind, time to start again. In here, this is all to do with you in the present situation. You have two major arcanas going on, judgment and the tower. I don't generally read in reverse, there is caution on judgment in reverse, but I would tell you right now, this is the time where karma is coming calling and you are reckoning with your own soul. Um, the tower is where things are crumbling down. There's a structural change down to the foundation. And this very much has to start with the beginner mindset again. So some kind of structure, some kind of institution, some kind of thing that you've built is being knocked down, flat out knocked down. So, okay, that's what's going on. You have the Three of Coins and the Six of Swords. So the Three of Coins is to do with honing a craft, starting a skill, getting patronage, trying to find value in this talent that you have that you need to pursue. The Six of Swords is to do with a journey. This could be actual physical travel. It could be going from point A to point B. It could be the beginning of a whole new thing a whole new chapter, a whole new career, a whole new class, a whole new way of doing from beginning clear to the end. It's a journey that you're on. That's my neighbors outside that you're probably hearing yelling their little heads off. And they're very cute little boys that bring me weird flower weeds and dandelions. And so we'll try and be patient with that. Okay, so here we are in the now with you. Outside influences. You have the fool. This again is an indication that it is time to get starting and you've known this for a while. You may have already begun on this journey. This may be something that's in process all the, at the same time while the tower is falling, why judgment and karmic lessons are coming into you. You have the queen of wands. She's in reverse. The queen of wands is like ray of sunshine, sunflower, loves to be the star of the show. Um, very nurturing, very wise in her own right. She's, she's definitely an abundant, fiery, passionate, determined, ambitious person. So those qualities that make you strong can also sometimes work to your disadvantage. Be aware, Leo. 
All right. Coming forward here, we're seeing the Knight of Cups and the Four of Swords. The Knight of Cups is wanting to go forward and offer love and bring love. He's very much a dreamer. This might not even be a, a male near you. This could be that male energy, that Knight of Cups energy, and it could be actually within you, or you might see that reflected back in some of your friends. But there is an offer of love. There is something a little bit illusory about it, very romantical notions. I would say romanticized notions. Now the ability to deliver on this one isn't as good as in some of the other suits. So keep your coins, keep your talents, keep your skills sharp. Take time to rest and retreat. We see the Knight of Swords. He's laying there on the coffin that was prepared before he went out crusading. And if he's lucky enough to come back after the wars and not be dead like some of his compadres, then it's the time for resting, regrouping, getting his head together, getting his spirit right and restoring himself, renewing so he can go into the world again and feel like a whole person. So that's, that's what that was in medieval times. This one here, you have the Eight of Air and the Four of Air. Again, this is the Four of Swords. This is telling you rest. This is telling you take a moment out, reprieve. Renew your spirit, recharge. You have the Eight of Air where you're kind of stuck. You're not sure what you're doing up there. Typically, this is shown with somebody that's surrounded by eight swords and blindfolded and can't see her way out. This girl has everything going on. There's feathers everywhere. There's all this air energy going on. She's on this cloud, but she's hesitant to do anything. She doesn't look at ease. She, she's peering down and tenuous. So it's like, I, I don't think she's ready to fly. Those could very well be her own feathers that she's rustled off, but she's not ready to take that leap of faith, which is exactly what the fool is asking of you. This is the time to do it. It's, it's either upon you, you're in it, or it's really coming at you strong and hard. Okay, we're going to take a look here. The Page of Cups. Page of Cups is sometimes smarter than the Knight, even though the Knights have got the experience to go out questing. Page of Cups can at least see what's right there. There's a fish, there's an offering, there's a gift of love right there. So that's around you. Don't be so over romanticized, over idealized that you're missing out on what's being presented before you. We're going to take a couple more from the Marchetti and then we'll call it probably good. This is a quick one, but it's pretty clear. What else do the Leos need to know today? This one's kind of being stubborn, so we'll look at that one. And that one's jumpity. All right, we're taking a look at these two. Last notes, post-it notes, notes to self. Huh, seven of wands. You need to be setting new boundaries. Maybe not overly defensive since porcupine is defensive, but clear about your boundaries, clear about beginning and what you're gonna do differently. And this I would say internally as well as externally. This is wand stuff, this is wand stuff. This is fire element. Oh goodness. Okay, the 10 of swords. So whatever this is that is feeling like perhaps a betrayal, perhaps a shift of mental attitudes that you have to get out of or it's going to kill you. That's probably the truth of it. You are at the end of something. You're at the end of some situation of the mind. So it is time. Something is coming to an end and closing out and over. And I would say this is very much in the realm of this tower. Is there anything else that would need to be clarified for you right now? Maybe just one action step that you could take, one action thing you could do, or one element represented to lead you to action. We'll go for that and see what see what comes up for that. Woo. Just a little bit more, let's see. The nine of swords okay you need to get out of your head on this worry this is definitely your situation this is definitely what's going on for you now the tower the nine of swords is keeping you locked in your head it's preventing this travel from happening this is in the situation of now you need to get out of this intellectual space where it's just high anxiety worry fear that's not what you are supposed to be doing you are supposed to be on this path don't let this rest turn into mental hamster wheels and destroy you 
something is definitely coming to an end and although that you don't know how or exactly what it is ending it is survivable and then you start again be very very aware be gentle to yourself be kind to yourself you're being told twice on this allow karma to do her thing judgment will happen the scales will be balanced they always are they might not feel like it from our perspective but they always are so there will be a reckoning do your own thing listen to your own inner calling hear your own music hear your own heart singing follow that lead because that's what's going to get you happy again so you may have to begin again it's okay all right that's what i've got for you leo i hope it helps take care